What is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here and today we're opening this Marvel Legends Defender set. So this is a giant set uh, that's based off the Defender, so if you've seen the show on like Netflix and stuff, that's what this show is based off. And it's got all the Netflix characters that you see there. So as you can see, it's kind of hard to get fit all of it in, but the front of the box is kind of designed like a comic book cover. So we have, you know, just the names on the side, which again, you can't see that well. And the age stuff, and this is the Defenders, and Marvel, and Hasbro, and all the stuff on it. So it's just supposed to be like a comic book cover. And then on the side of the box here, you can see the logo. So we have Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist. Then on the back, there's a picture of all of them. Of course, says Marvel Legends series. And it's hard to see there. You can kind of see it, their names along the top. It's kind of like a movie cover there. Again, their logos. And then you can open it up. And so on the side here, we have the um, info on each of them. So each of their names and their characters and then the figures of them on this side that will go into and open each one so let's go ahead and get this set open so first up here we have daredevil so his obviously real name is matt murdoch is so that's his like real human pound what you call him his real life name but he goes by daredevil obviously as he's dressed in this red outfit here so this is the red from not the like blue or the yellow outfit with the red um, like singlet type thing that was his original outfit but this is the all red version so you can see he's covered in red he has the devil horns which I always like or as a, add a touch to there to make you know de the devil part of daredevil then he's got the DD on his chest then he's wearing all red he's got red belt red shoes red gloves everything red then he has a um, pocket here on the side of his leg um, like a sheet type thing to hold his weapon, which he does also come with a weapon as well, his baton. So you can have it together, which it's kind of all been up in the package. All these figures and stuff were messed up in the package. Like, everything's all bent and stuff on him. But you can also take it apart to stick it in his hand, so he has two separate weapons. And then I believe that um, allows him to stick down in the sheath here. Let's see if we can get him both in there so yeah they can kind of just stick in the side there so he always has them you know to carry around and everything but as I said if you can see he's like kind of standing weird because his legs are all bent and everything from being in the package that's just what's not good about having figures like these in the plastic packages it kind of bends them and shapes them he does have a hole on his back I don't know why um, I thought maybe it'd be you know to hold something like you could stick some on his back but he doesn't have anything and a couple of the other characters have him as well but I don't know. Um, but he has a lot of movement and stuff. So obviously he has his um, wrist here. Then his um, elbows obviously move as they usually do. Then he's got a shoulder or upper shoulder part here. Then of course the shoulder joint which can move around in a ball form. His head, his chest or torso can do the normal bend. Then he's got the upper leg, the knee, and the lower leg or half leg and then the ankle um which sometimes moves side to side but this one doesn't and then of course can move back and forth so he's got a lot of range of movement that you can get him but it just stinks with his leg um how it's kind of bent from the package that you may not be able to put him in cool stances that, that daredevil you know like normally stands in or anything but just from the box it's, box that has all their aliases so it's matt murdoch with alias of daredevil it says blinded as a child learns to hone senses to become martial arts master so obviously he's a master of martial arts which was learned from uh, stick i believe was the guy that trained him it's kind of a weird name but um trained him and he taught him all sorts of like martial arts uh, forms and techniques and so he's now a master of it i guess but that's going to be it for daredevil and next up here we have jessica jones so she's the person i don't know nearly as much about but first off i was talking about the figures being met in the box she barely stands up and look at how weird her legs are you have to put them like to that that wide out and they're bent like to the side and stuff that's the only way i could get her to stand up um but so this is jessica jones obviously so there's like her face and because unlike daredevil she does have her face covered up she's got the purplish pink hair which i really like the color and design on that i like the way they did that then she's got her classic like comic outfit where it's got all white with the blue so she's got blue gloves and the blue stripes with the diamond or jewel looking thing there which will make sense here in a second and then she's wearing just all white so she's very basic and plain but um as i mentioned this figure for the box at least is not in good shape like her legs are horrible she's like standing all weird but that was the only thing I could do to get her to even stand up. So it's going to be weird for her. Um, but she doesn't doesn't come with any weapons or anything. But the box does say, so her name is Jessica Jones. Her alias is Jewel, so that's why she has the jewel there on her um, belt 
the design at least, says expose the chemicals as a young age, develop super strength and fighting abilities. So if you've seen the show, she can, you know, has super strong strength and so she can punch really hard, break through walls and just all sorts of stuff. Craziness that doesn't look like someone like she should be able to. But that's going to be it for Jessica Jones. Then next up here we have Luke Cage. So this is kind of a, I believe, a newer version of Luke Cage because obviously in the older form he wore um, the yellow and I think there was green oops, and on his costume as well. And then he had the afro, so here he's got the bald head. So this is very similar to his character in the Netflix series. So there's a picture, or picture, the look at his face there. So he has like the goatee designed I assume that's what you call that but he's got that design then he's all ripped out and stuff because obviously he's a super strong guy he wears the gauntlets which I believe help can like be used to stop bullets and stuff I'm not exactly sure on that but I know um his figure or figure his uh character or Luke Cage in general always wears like these metal gauntlets on his arm but like I said I assume but he's got super strength and abilities and I know he can be shot and not have issues so I don't know exactly why he wears the metal gauntlets, but I assume it's for something. And then in this, he's just wearing jeans, so he's not got any sort of fancy outfit. He's got his yellow shirt, like I said, is which is part of his like his classic look. But this is not it. And then he's got more metal there on his feet, and then he's got like boots on, so he can kick ass. So he got kick ass boots on. <laughs> and so there's the look at Luke Cage. He also has two holes in the back, so I don't know what he's got going on why he's got two holes in his back for something i assume you can use like a stand or something on where something hooks into the back but that's pretty much it for luke cage since he's got the super strength and stuff he doesn't have any weapons so he has the alias of power man which was his classic or his original stuff so it was introduced as power man under the name of luke cage and it says balances and or balances enhanced strength and durability with street fighting expertise so obviously if you've seen the show he grew up you know kind of like in the ghetto areas and stuff so that's why he has the street fights and stuff because he has to always take care of all the crime and criminals going around in like the hood and everything. So that's going to be it for Luke Cage. And the last figure here is Iron Fist. So this is Danny Rand. Um, and so this is probably one of my, my favorite characters. It's either him or Daredevil out of the Defenders. Um, but I always liked him, like, from the look of the comics and stuff. And so he's kind of like a kung fu master. Um, so he comes from the name Iron Fist because of his fist, because he has some powers um, that I believe he, it's called, like, chi, the chi or something like that. And so he um, learned the powers, and so he has Iron Fist, and or his fist have powers. And so that's why it's called Iron Fist. And they said, you know, it's like iron because when he um, has his powers going, he can't be, like, his hands can't be... Um, hurt he can like break through walls and just destroy guys with a punch of a fist and so that's why he's called iron fish just because he got powers going on in his fist and so here's just um he has a cover on his head just to cover his identity which it reminds me a lot of the daredevil netflix show when daredevil first started out he just wore the black cover on the his head to cover it but this is like the classic looking iron fist and so he's got the yellow with the eye holes and stuff so you he can obviously see out because he's not blind like daredevil then he's got the dragon there on his chest which it's um a storyline or legend whatever from the comics is that he beat a dragon i don't know how to say the dragon's name but when he defeated it it left a scar on his chest so that's why he has the dragon scar going onto his chest there from that dragon that he defeated with his powers and then he's got the yellow belt going around his hand he's got his hands taped up which we'll see some with in a second then he's got these green pants and yellow shoes and so he's got the skinny legs like uh jessica jones does. so the box just destroyed him like he has to stand super weird just to be able to stand up like because his legs are so deformed and everything and it was so hard to get him to stand up he does come with some fire, so obviously when he has the Iron Fist powers going, he gets like fireballs on his hands. I don't know if these just kind of stick on his hands. And so he, you know, has these fists now of fire becoming the Iron Fist and be able to like fight all sorts of people. Obviously, I can't get it to stand up and then everything's just falling over. But he has the Iron on his fist, so that's why he also has like the stuff to protect him, her fighting and everything. And so he's just a super like kick-ass guy when it comes to martial arts and stuff. So it says on the box here, it says obviously his name's Danny Rand with the alias of Iron Fist. And it says harness spiritual chi for heightened perception and kung fu prowess. So him and 
uh, Daredevil are very similar, except for Daredevil obviously doesn't have the fist powers that the Iron Fist does. But I think that's really cool. And so that's going to be it for the Defender set with all the different characters of Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist. And so that's from the Marvel Legends series line of the 6-inch figures. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below which figure do you like the best or who's your favorite character out of the Defenders. Could be from either just the comics in general or if you watch the Netflix Netflix series, which character did you like the most? But let me know that in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. And we'll see you next time.